Hello again, I had a user, Perry Baker, who asked me about how to run um, the RGPilot SITL simulation in Mission Planner with a stable release instead of running with a um, the latest um, build of what we call the master build. Um, so in the simulation system in Mission Planner, if you just go and say, click multi-rotor here, then what you will get is it'll download automatically the latest build and it will then run that latest build version here and you'll see the version number it'll pop up with at the moment that'll pop up with a 4.2.0 development version which is the the latest changes including many hundreds of changes since the 4.1.0 um, release came out. All right, so let's disconnect from that and I'll show you how if you wanted to instead run the um, the stable build, how you would do that. So the first thing you need to do is you go to firmware.rgpilot.org like this and within firmware.rgpilot.org um, you go and uh, go down to the mission planner section here and you go look in the SITL subdirectory here and these are the binaries that it downloads, right, in order to run SITL. This is where it goes to get those binaries to run. But there are actually stable subdirectories here, right, which have our stable builds. In the future, uh, the reason we added these stable directories is we want to add a little drop down menu. So when you launch the simulator, you can choose I want plane stable, copter stable, rover stable, etc. But uh, we don't have that yet, but you can take advantage of the fact the binaries are being built to go and run it now with a little bit of extra effort. So what you do is you go into the, say, the Copter Stable directory, and we want to download the latest ArduCopter build here. So I'm going to click on that to download that ArduCopter build. Great. And now I'm going to show that folder that I've downloaded, and I'm going to copy that file. Okay, so that's all good. Now what I'm going to do is place that file in this folder here, which is this PC documents mission planner SITL. So this is where uh, mission planner stores those binaries when it downloads them. So what we're going to do is paste that file in here. There it is. And I just need to rename it. Uh, actually, first I need to delete the old one. I need to delete the old rgcopter.exe like that. And then I need to rename that to being a .exe. So it's slightly unfortunate. The file name on our server is a .elf, which is what comes out of Sigwin uh, builds, and we need to rename it. And you'll get a warning about changing the file extension. And yes, you do want to change the file extension to a .exe. It is actually a Windows binary that's been built. It's a strange enough, it's a 32-bit Windows binary uh, for compatibility with the Sigwin libraries. Um, all right, so now we have, um, and also so if you're running 32-bit version of Windows, that SIDL will work. All right, so we've now got uh, rgcopter.exe sitting there, and um, uh, now what we can do is go back to this simulation button here, and very important now, we click the little skip download tick box. By clicking that, when you choose to launch the multi-rotor or plane or rover, it won't download the latest version, Instead, it will just use the version from that directory that we've now populated with the stable version. So I can click on multi-rotor here, and it will now launch that multi-rotor simulation. And when it now connects, it'll go and get the firmware version. And you'll notice it's 4.1.1 RC1. Now, you may wonder, well, why is it the RC1 release and not the 4.1.0 stable release? And the reason for that is that copter stable and plane stable releases actually build the release branch. And this release branch, um, Randy McKay, the copter release manager, uses the copter 4.1 release branch to hold the pending uh, fixes for the releases. So this is Copter 4.1.0 with the minimum fixes just needed to get ready for the 4.1.1. So it's the uh, 4.1.1 release candidate 
first release candidate. And that's why when we downloaded it, that's what we got rather than the actual 4.1.0 release. But it is very, very close to the stable. And once this release candidate is out, it will in fact be the stable release at that point. Um, assuming Randy hasn't pushed another a patch into that branch. All right, so that's, uh, that's really it. So that way you can now come up and run the stable releases in uh, Mission Planner simulation in case you want to test features, mission planning, etc., and you want to know it's going to be compatible with the stable release you're using. And the same thing works, of course, for planes and rovers. Uh, we haven't done it yet for submarines. Uh, that will probably come in the future. And uh, But this at least gets you going on the stable releases until we have what we plan in the future is having a little drop down here that allows you to choose which exact release to run. So um, hope you enjoyed that and happy flying.